All right, today we got a really quick one. We get questions about this all the time. We are going to just change a face mask on a Speed Flex. There are a couple of little things you need to keep in mind. It's not as straightforward as you think it is. You're gonna need one of these two tools, either a Phillips screwdriver or the Riddell quick release tool, which if you don't have one, if you take your masks on and off a lot, we sell these, you can pick one of these up, throw it in your bag and your rotary is ready. If you don't take your mask on an awful lot, just use a regular screwdriver, it's super easy. I'm gonna show you how to use both of these to get this mask off, and then we're just gonna put on another mask, and it's gonna be that easy. So, we've got little receptacles here, and we've got different size face mask clips. It's critical that the small clip goes on the bottom, the large clip goes on top. That is where people make the biggest mistake is they don't put the clips on right, and they get them mixed up. So all you gotta do, is take the little nubs here. They fit perfectly into those little pins and then this just pops right off. Done. I'm gonna do that on both sides. On the other side here, I'm gonna do this with the screwdriver so you can see how it easy is. You wanna need to be a little bit more careful because the trick is gonna be you don't wanna let the screwdriver slip. Because if it slips, you're gonna scratch either the helmet, the face mask, or possibly your hand. Once these guys are off, it's just taking the face mask clips. The best way to take these face mask clips is to kind of hold both hands around it, pull it apart, and just slide it right out. And then immediately, if you have your other face mask sitting right there, go ahead and put it on the other face mask exactly the same way that you took it off. So don't feel bad if you have to ask somebody for help on this or if it gets to be a, a serious pain. I can tell already based on how these clips are going on this mask. This is a brand new mask from Riddell. This is not one that we recoded, but these ones on the bottom here are having a little bit harder time touching each other. And that's because sometimes on some masks, the coatings are a little bit thicker. Sometimes they're a little bit thinner. That's all perfectly fine. So what we want to do is we want to line the hole up and we're going to hold this from the back. There's a little receiver on the back. And what we need to do is we need to push the pin back in. And this is where the tool really helps. So it's almost engaged. So you can see here that it's halfway down and then we're just gonna push in until you hear that click. The pin has popped out the mask is now not coming off. We're gonna do this one with the screwdriver. And I'll say this is where people sometimes will have challenges if they're using a screwdriver. If you have the option between a short screwdriver and a long screwdriver, use the shorty. But you need something to kind of push in here. So I'm gonna use the other end of the screwdriver. and I can feel it wants to slip. Didn't make a really loud click, but it went in there. And that one's already done. So now we can pop over to the other side. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. And hold it all in place. And I will say this part of the equation is much easier with this tool. If I here fell out, this is what's on the other side that's gonna be receiving the pin, and we'll do this one with the screwdriver again. That's the kind of slip I'm talking about. So it's not really working, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the guy out, and I'm just gonna use this and see if that helps. much easier like that. Really helps to make sure that you have some good leverage onto this as you push in. And that's where people have a hard time sometimes is getting the holes lined up and then getting the pins to actually engage. So you gotta wait until you hear that click and then it's good to go. So I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Until next time, cheers.